select the major product of the following reaction. So if we take a look at our reaction scheme, we can see that we have a vinyl bromide. So our bromine is directly attached to the vanillic or sp2 carbon atom of that alkene. And we're reacting this also with a terminal alkene. We've got a palladium catalyst. And we've got a base, triethylamine. So you want to recognize that these are the conditions for a heck reaction. So a heck reaction is another example of a palladium catalyzed coupling reaction. So the general scheme for a heck reaction is you have either a vinyl or aryl halide. And the reaction works best with a terminal alkene. And typically we'll see a terminal alkene that has an electron withdrawing group. So we're just going to draw Z to represent kind of a general group. Um, so there's our alkene and we've got our catalyst and our base, which is triethylamine. So I'm going to abbreviate that TEA. And so what happens when you bring these together is you're going to form a new bond between the carbon where the halogen was and where the trans hydrogen is. So if we look at this terminal alkene, we're going to look at the trans hydrogen to be replaced. So if we're looking at our generic example up here, there's that trans hydrogen that's going to be replaced. So what it's going to be replaced with is this R group, right? So we could still see that alkene. We could show a new bond. And that new bond will be to the R group, whatever it is from that vinyl or aryl halide. So that's what we can do here. So we're going to draw our alkene product, right? So this is the alkene from here. Here's where our trans hydrogen is, and we're going to replace that with the bond to this carbon atom right here. So we can show our new bond. And then we have the carbon atom of the vinyl group. So we've got that alkene, and we're going to keep the stereochemistry of this alkene. It was trans, so we're going to keep that trans orientation here, and then the benzene ring. So we're just abbreviating that benzene ring as phenol. And so we can see that this is matching up with option C.